Hi, everybody. It's Mark Rushton of markrushton.com. It's Friday, January 21st, 2022. And this video is called Getting Playlists on Angami. And Angami is a Middle Eastern based streaming music service. And they have, uh, well, what I could see out there in the, whether it's real or not, who knows, but 70 million active monthly uh, listeners and then about a million and a half paid subscribers. And, and I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are just like, well, that's not many. Why would I want to put my stuff out there? And of course, my attitude is that if you're a publishing musician, uh, releasing stuff on uh, digital distribution services that, that send your music to, to companies like Angami, you should have a presence out there. You should be building playlists, public playlists of your music regularly and trying to get them onto those services and just and don't don't diss something because it's halfway around the world don't diss something because not everybody uh, speaks english reads english there's lots of different ways to craft those playlists you know putting uh different language using lang language translation apps for the titles for the descriptions all that sort of stuff. As I like to say, people are looking for the kind of sounds and music that you make. They're not necessarily looking for you. So try to be, again, more, uh, I don't, what's the right word? Just do everything and try to be everywhere. So uh, I had uh, a, a, few, a few days ago, last week, something like that, I had gotten a Proton VPN. And that was so I could sign up for Ngami, not to listen to anything, but to get my playlists out there. And I use a couple of different services to transfer my playlists. I build everything in Spotify and I transfer them to lots of different services. And the, the, I use Soundies and I also use Tune My Music. I pay for both of those apps on a yearly basis. Well, uh, wh which service was it that uh, transfers to Ngami? I think it was Tune My Music. So actually, they do don't transfer to Ngami. They transfer from Ngami. <laughs> so I got in there and I was like, kind of like, I, you know, I saw where it's, it's got Ngami in there, right? And so I was able to get the uh, an account started thanks to the Proton VPN. And then I logged into Tune My Music and I was getting going to transfer my playlist from Spotify over to Ngami. I always do a, a test, a test to send first just to make sure everything works okay. I just do one first. I don't send 700 there. Um, so I uh, was doing the one and I did loaded it up and I'm going to send it to. And Ngami was not in the two. Ngami was only in the from. <laughs> I was like, whoop, that, whoops, that's kind of an oversight. That's a little weird. And so I contacted Tune My Music and they were kind of like, well, you should, um, what was it? Uh, contact them and see if they'll, you know, uh, like I'm supposed to lobby on behalf of Tune My Music. I'm just like, you, what? You didn't. You didn't make this a reciprocal thing, right? It was it was strange. Like, why would people be leaving Ngami for Spotify? Why, wouldn't wouldn't Ngami want to open things up and say, "Hey, bring your stuff over here"? And you know, not only for you know listeners, it's not just listeners who are trying to transfer their playlist from one service to the other, but it's creatives like me, publishers like me, musicians, non musicians like me who are recording artists. We're trying to get their public playlist just everywhere again so that people could discover and find and search and 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 listen and become fans or just repeatedly listen to things right stuff that they discover and like anyway um so i was just like i couldn't transfer any of my public playlists over to uh, and got me like, ah, how do you do that so like, mm, like that and it was like oh you need to, once you have the Ngami account, go into the app and then go into the settings. And I forget what it was, like profile or something like that. In there, there'll be a thing where you can go and import 
your playlists from Spotify, Deezer, and then there was some other option. And to Ngami. I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. It's not as good as Soundies or Tune My Music because I make things in Spotify on a daily or semi-daily basis and transfer those one, two, three, four, five, six playlists that I make every day to there. So I'll have to figure something out with regard to that. But but at least this is a way to get the 700-ish playlists that I have on Spotify and the other services over to Ngami. At least they will be discoverable. And I've gone into... So anyway, I, I, I kicked that off. And that's going to take a little bit of time to do that. But I've already gone into the Ngami app. And, and there they are. There are some of them. Some of them have, have, have made the, the leap, the data leap, right? So I'm like super, super thrilled to see that. Super thrilled. That's, that's great. And I don't, now whether or not the people listening and searching for things on Angami are going to find them, are they going to be discoverable on that service? I have no idea. I have no idea. And that's one thing I've learned here with building playlists on a regular basis and transferring them to the different services. Some services, they do not do a very good job of promoting public playlists. Others do a fantastic job of that. Like you'll get, you can transfer a playlist over to a service. Somebody will find it and, and, and enjoy it and listen to it. And you'll have listeners like on day one, and other services, it takes a long time for that to infiltrate their system or whatever, right? As I like to say, and, th and then some are just die on the vine. And it seems like nothing is ever going to happen to them. But as I, as I say about this sort of thing, you're not building for now, you're building for the future, right? You're not building for today, you're building for down the road could be years down the road and you never know any of these streaming services are they going to change their policy are they going to change their algorithm are they going to make things more discoverable uh is there going to be a tweak in their app that suddenly someday the thing that you built years ago and it's just sitting out there waiting like like a virus waiting to be activated right it's just so it's, it's like or a satellite it's the dead satellite suddenly turns on oh hey I, I got enough sunlight and the solar thing and it powered the battery and all that sort of thing. And we're communicating again, right? That's, that's the sort of thing that I'm, I'm aiming for my philosophy with regard to building the playlists and, and, and getting my music and sounds out there. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. And so that that's in the works and we'll see what happens. And I was able to get one of my artists on Ngami for, I think it's called Ngami for Creators. I got signed up for that. And it's, it's got some musical promotion or recording promotion services and some analytics too. It's a little slow and a little clunky, but, uh, you know, I'll, <clears throat> I'll take anything that, that gives me that sort of data. It's not as robust as Spotify for artists. So what is, right? They do it. They do. Spotify for artists does have a, a really good service there. Really great data and analytics, really great promotional uh, possibilities there. As does Pandora Amp and possibly Amazon Music for artists. We'll save that for another time there. Uh, and, but anyway, that's so, yeah, the playlist started showing up and I was just absolutely thrilled to see that. Now, the thing about Ngami is, uh, you know, two, th two things. Number one, they don't have that many paying subscribers. So the royalty rates can be very low. And then you have so many that are on the free side that, the, and that is literally an extra zero in the royalties. I mean, it's already low. And then there's an extra zero in there. Uh, Cause I've seen, I've seen, I've been getting uh royalties from Angami for a few years now. It's, it's very, very low. I mean, like, I don't think I'm even into dollars yet. Have I? And I usually, I don't usually like to talk about money or amounts or anything. It's not very much. It's not very much. But again, 
I have not had public playlists out there. So I, I don't know if there's any sort of discoverability on the things that I have put into the public playlist. Again, treat everything like an experiment. So this, this may earn me some micro fractions this year. May not, right? Well, how much effort did it take, really? I mean, I spent a few minutes doing the the VPN and signing up for the account and it, it, and then transferring playlists. It's it, it, who knows? It's like finding that uh, finding a lottery ticket on the ground. That ah, might be worth something. Or you're walking around the casino and oh, look at that! That machine's got. Uh, that machine's got a couple dollars on it, right? I'll go and punch the button, pull the arm and punch the button and ah, jackpot. Yay. Or no, nothing. <laughs> or it goes down to zero. I don't know. But uh, yeah, don't, don't diss these smaller services. Don't, don't diss the smaller services that don't pay as much, even if they're halfway around the world, because those, that, that river of micro fractions adds up, you know? It's like, I, I don't know. I've seen people talk about Pandora and they all they care about is like the industry store. Well, you see, Pandora isn't as big as it used to be. They've only got whatever, 50, 52 million active monthly users. They used to be a lot bigger, you know. And I'm just like, 52 million active monthly listeners, is that's pretty good. That sounds good to me, right? Well, they don't have many on their uh, their paid streaming music side. I'm like, I, I, they're listening to my stuff. <laughs> I've got I've got playlists out there. They listen to that stuff. The radio side does great. It's like what? Whoa! They're just they're not they're not growing. They're declining. I'm like fifty million people, man. Don't diss it. Don't don't be don't be a snob. Don't be like an industry snob. I'm like there are music streaming services out there with just like hundreds of thousands of users on the. I want to be part of that. I want to be I want I want to have my stuff out there. I want to be everywhere. So I, I don't know. I, I just get super excited about talking about this sort of stuff. I think because I've seen the results. I've seen the results. Like some results do really good. They've done really good over time and they've grown over time. If more people have, have gotten onto streaming services and pay for pay for subscriptions and everything. And other things, like, like I said, they die on the vine. And, and, and you're just like, well, this was an experiment. What's this like? You know, things may change down the road. The, the companies that uh, that manage these streaming services, again, I'm going to repeat myself again. They may change their algorithm. They may, they may change their app. They may make things more discovery. You, you have absolutely no idea. Be be everywhere. Have your stuff everywhere. And that includes music. That includes playlists. And that includes having trying to get an account on those services and at least looking, seeing how your music is presented seeing how everything works. So I know I've just rambled like crazy today, but it's, it's so great to have um, one of these potential victories. You know, I could, I would consider it a potential victory. I think it's a good thing. And um, anyway, uh, that's it for today. Might do a video later. Might not, but I'm just like, I'm just like totally, what's the word? Stoked, stoked about that. That's great. I don't know whether it works, but it, it's it's fun to see. And uh, we'll talk to you later. Got to get back to the day job here.